Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a very special video and this video is going to be all about what is in my hospital bag. I am 36, almost 37 weeks pregnant and so I thought it would be a great time to pack my hospital bag, get it ready. I know that I still have a good few weeks until my due date, but you really just never know when babies are going to decide to show up. So um, my husband and I decided to pack our hospital bags a little early, and I've already shown you guys what is packed in Cash's hospital bag, so I'm going to show you today what is packed in my hospital bag. So if you're interested in seeing, then just keep on watching. All right, guys, so I did kind of angle this down a little bit. Sorry about the cleavage. Um, it's just kind of something that comes with pregnancy. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what is in my hospital bag and I don't have a whole lot of things in here for Scott just because he kind of travels with a bag full of clothes and his things all the time because he's, mo he's constantly commuting from the valley up here to the northern state. And so he feels more comfortable just bringing his normal bag. Um, but I did pack a couple of things in here for him just that he doesn't normally carry around. So I'm just gonna show you guys everything that's in here. This is just a carry-on pull luggage type of bag. I picked this one because it's big enough to hold everything and I don't have to bring multiple bags. And um, it's rollable so it'll be easy to get in and out of the hospital and um, is just the best option for us. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in the top first. Okay, so in here I just have an old pair of flip-flops and these are just rubber flip-flops and I brought these so that I can wear them in the shower. You really never know. I mean the hospital that we go to is clean, but you really just don't know how clean the shower is. So I brought my own pair of flip-flops. So in the top pouch here, we have a few items. We have my robe, which was actually a gift from my friend Hannah when I was in her wedding. And it's from Pink Blush Maternity, so it is made for maternity. Um, it's nice and thin. So I thought I would use this in the hospital because you just need a robe. Um, people are coming in and out of your room and you don't want them to see anything, so I brought a robe. Then I did pack a nursing bra. This is just a simple one from Target. It's not padded at all. I figured this would be the most comfortable for me just while I'm in the hospital um, nursing for the first time. It's just black, no big deal. Then I've got my nursing pads in here. I just got a bundle of these off of Amazon. I believe these are organic and they're washable but they're just normal nursing pads um, and they came in this cute little um, carrying case so I just brought all of them and I'm keeping those in there. Then I have a couple pairs of black socks. Um, those of you that have had a baby, you know what happens after you've had a baby and you just don't wanna be wearing any light colors to be getting anything on them. So I just packed these, these are old Victoria's Secret socks that I've had forever. So I just packed two pairs. I do get really cold in the hospital, so I needed to have these for sure. Next, I packed my belly band, which I got from Amazon. And I believe it, oh no, I got this one from Target. It's by Isabel Maternity, and it's just a black belly band. Um, it's the medium large one. And I just got this because I am going to wanna tighten my belly back up as soon as the baby comes, and um, hopefully, this will help. I'll just put this on after I give birth and um, hopefully it will keep me feeling comfortable because I'm not used to having that extra skin and belly there, so this will help. And then I do have a couple pairs of granny panties in here. If you're my students and you're watching this, go ahead and just click off now because this is so not for you to watch. Um, these are like super big granny panties. These are to wear after because like I said, if you've had a baby, you know what happens after. And I don't wanna ruin any of my good chones. So I got these ones from Amazon. They're the kind with like the maternity um, kind of waistline. They cross in the front. So if I do end up having a C-section, for any reason, there should be no reason why I have to have one. But for any reason that I do need to have one, 
I have some chonies that won't touch my scar. So that's in this pocket. All right, so the, I'm gonna go ahead and pan down so you guys can see. So the next couple of items in here are toiletry items. This is just a travel bag that I've had forever. It's double-sided, it has a front pouch, and then it opens up and has two more pouches. So in the front pouch here, I just have some pads because I need to, I don't really know how many I'm gonna need, so I packed a couple in there. And then I also have all of our toiletries in here. So I'll just kind of show you the basics of what I'm bringing. Um, I do have, you know, soap, conditioner, shampoo. Um, I have a, a soap for Scott, I have a soap for me. I have this new mama bottom spray um, from Earth Mama on Amazon. I have heard a lot of wonderful things about this, so I purchased that on Amazon. I do have um, the natural nipple butter as well from Earth Mama. It smells really like almond butter almost, but I brought that um, to have. Um, I brought a small can of hairspray, um, deodorant, a big old can of dry shampoo because I don't plan on washing my hair while I'm in there. I do have a little perfume in here just in case. Um, I know that it sounds silly to want to do your hair in the hospital, but um, I'm not really into taking pictures and looking like a wreck, so I brought um, hairspray and dry shampoo, and I will be bringing a curling iron as well, but I'm not gonna pack that yet. And then over here I just have like our toothbrushes, some Q-tips, floss, makeup remover, and then these really cool travel toothbrushes that I cannot get open because my nails are, but they're like really cool. They like bend and snap in there. So that's what I brought for us for our toiletries. And like I said, Scott kind of comes with his own stuff, but just in case he's in an emergency situation, I have that. Then in here, this is a wet bag that I ordered from Amazon. I have a small one in my diaper bag, which is, I'm not even gonna do a video about that for until the baby's here and I know what's actually needed. But in here, I just have some more feminine hygiene products. They are a little more serious than maxi pads. We'll just say that uh, because I'm not really a fan of maxi pads and I know that I have to use them. So I packed some um, alternative items in here. You can let your mind wander. I'm not gonna pull them out, but I do have them in here. This is a wet bag, so once I'm done using them, if I have any dirty laundry, I can put it in this bag. And then we get into the nitty gritty. Um, so over here, I have some medicated pads. A friend of mine gave me these. I do also have tucks, but I plan on leaving them here and just bringing these just in case, but they are just like the Target brand medical um, pads. Um, and then I also have a body butter. This is the Soap and Glory Smoothie um, Lightly Whipped Body Butter Cream. I love this one. It smells like pistachios and almonds and I just know my skin's already dry and being in a cold hospital, it's gonna be dry, <laughs> really dry. So I'm bringing this as well. And then down in here, I just have some clothing items. So this is our going home outfit. Um, if you guys watched my what's in my baby's hospital bag, then you saw Cash's baby bear um, onesie. Um, so this is just the matching mama bear baseball t-shirt. And then Scott has the papa bear one as well. So we're all gonna be matching. Um, and that's gonna be our going home outfits. So like I said, I did pack a couple things for Scott, but not a lot. Um, so we have those. I have a pair of maternity leggings to wear home uh, because I just don't wanna be in anything constrictive. And these ones will be nice on my freshly deflated belly. I also have a pair of pajamas in here. And these are just black pajamas from Target. These are from the Gillian and I don't even have, I can't read that. Um, but they're just plain black, super soft pajama pants. And then there's a matching sweatshirt that comes with it. 
but what I like about it is that it's really loose so I'm able to nurse while wearing this. I probably will wear this the second day after I've stopped gushing fluids <laughs> after giving birth. Um, I also brought an extra like this is like a pajama shirt but it's long it's like a dress almost um it is light colored which i know i said i don't want any light colors but it's really super soft and i figured if i'm just sitting around in the hospital bed i can wear this and it's nice and loose so i can nurse um but i it's just another option um and then i also packed a nursing tank top just to wear under that sweater if I decide I want to. If it's too hot, I can wear this instead of the sweater, um, but it's just a white um, nursing tank top. It's what I already had. I would have bought, I would have gotten a black one, but I didn't want to go out and buy another one. So I probably will eventually, but for this, no. And then I also have a sweatshirt for Scott in here because hospitals are cold. I know that he is kind of queasy around hospitals. So I brought him a sweater just to kind of keep him comfortable. And then I also have a tennis ball in here. This is for massaging my back if I need it. Uh, super exciting, I know. And then because I get really cold in hospitals, I am packing a blanket for me or for Scott, depending on who needs it. I got this one from Target. It came with like the little lumberjack wrapped around it, but this is our nursery theme. And I figured after the hospital, we can put this in the nursery and Cash can use it for himself or whatever. But I did bring this for me and for Scott. All right, guys, so that is everything that I am bringing with me in my hospital bag. I'm sure that there's gonna be a, you know, a last minute bag thrown together like my purse or a smaller duffel. Um, with like our cameras, our chargers, our phones, my curling iron, iPad, things like that. But this is mostly what I plan to bring. Um, I feel like it's not that much. I feel like I've downsized a lot comparing my bag to some other people's that I watched on YouTube. And I just didn't want to overpack because I will have a family member returning home to feed the dogs, to sleep. Um, and if I need anything, they can bring it to the hospital for me because they will be back and forth, whether it's my mom or my dad. Uh, Scott will probably stay the whole time. Uh, so yeah, so that's what I'm bringing in my hospital bag. I hope this was helpful. I hope it was enjoyable. I know it's not my normal teaching video, but um, this YouTube channel is supposed to reflect me and my life and everything that is included in that. And so this is kind of a big deal and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.